So this is the story of our 2018 Hot Rod Power Tour. Due to work schedules, we weren't able to make the long haul this year, so we tried to make the best of it by going to the Birmingham stop on Monday, June the 11th. But my adventure actually started about a week prior when I bought this 1967 Dodge Coronet. So I'm sitting here with my new to me uh, 67 Coronet that I just bought Sunday. And I bought this in Louisiana, drove it back two hours, to here and during that time both lower control arm bushings just went out uh, they're somewhere from here to Louisiana so made it home and immediately pulled it in the shop here and now this is Friday and the Birmingham stop of power tour is on Monday so right now I'm thrashing to trying to get this thing ready for that. So I got new ball joints, uh, lower control arm bushings, and brake lines, brake hoses. Uh, this car has a 273 automatic, and somebody did swap a four barrel with an Elbrog intake on it. Everything else is all original. After working all Friday night and Saturday, I thought I had the car as ready as it could get before I left. But of course, things started going wrong on Sunday. Okay, so it's Sunday, day before the Birmingham Stop of Power Tour. And uh, I was actually planning to go to Starkville this afternoon, stay with Wesley, and then we would cannonball over. Well, uh, I was putting some shakedown miles on the car this afternoon and had a little mishap. So these tires, uh, they look pretty good. I knew they were a little old, but I figured, yeah, they'll make it. But they didn't look too dry rotted or anything, but yeah, no good. So I think it's safe to say that tire is not making it to Birmingham. Uh, since it has slip belts and uh, the tread is trying to uh, relieve itself from the rest of the tire. Knowing it would be a long shot to find tires for 14 inch rims early Monday morning and making it to Power Tour on time, I started to try every set of wheels and tires I could find on Sunday evening. Meanwhile, three hours north in Starkville, Wesley had been putting some shakedown miles on the Cougar, but had issues of his own. Okay, so everybody, it's been a while since I've been on the channel, but I built the motor, drove it 2,000 miles. That's a story for another day. But me and Nick are about to go power tour in Birmingham, and it's five o'clock. At about three o'clock, one of my rockers come undone. They the set screw backed out and it came off I lost the cylinder so it's five o'clock we're leaving tomorrow morning and I'm putting on adjusting rocker arms and fixing radiator mounts and doing some small stuff before I get on the road tomorrow I'd love to put some jets in this but I'm gonna have to find some so who knows The old tires did their job and got me safely to Southern Tire Mart. After a couple of hours of waiting, I was back on the road. On the way, I drove through some serious downpours, but made it safely to Tuscaloosa where I met Wesley, who was having some more issues. How's it going, Wesley? <laughs> Terrible. All right, so we made it to Tuscaloosa. I'm sitting in the Cougar because you have Every to pump. time we go to Power Tour, the clutch has to mess <laughs> up. Every time. Yeah, so we're tempted to bleed the clutch on this thing. I don't even know where the bleed is because I forgot. 
so many different foot systems on it. I don't know which one we're on now. The white shirt was a bad idea, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, you know, I just drove 2,000 miles. I'm not going to have to work on this thing. No. No. So, it's 2.30. Uh, we still haven't made it to Hoover for the power tour. We'll see how it goes. After about an hour of troubleshooting the clutch system, we decided that either the master cylinder or slave cylinder was messed up, so we cruised on a power tour for everyone packed up. Alright, well we made it. Finally. Sorta. Of. It's 4.40 and we just got here, so <laughs> still an hour or so left the power tour, so. And we're definitely not doing the Atlanta stop, or I'm not, because. Yeah. The clutch is yeah. pretty much messed can, up on your car. Right now, my state of driving is... I drive an overdrive everywhere until it gets under like 30 miles an hour and then I pump it like four times and shift out and just coast until I have to stop. And then I pump it, pump it, pump it, get it to go in first and then go. It's pretty bad, but... But we made it. Now we have to find the hotel and all that stuff, but for now, power tour. After the show, we cruised some back roads until we got to the hotel. Once we got there, there were some cool cars, so we checked those out in the parking lot and then decided to hit the hay. The next morning, we woke up and went to Barber Motorsports Park and checked out the museum they have there. The museum overlooks the racetrack and houses one of the largest motorcycle collections on the planet, as well as a large number of vintage race cars. This is definitely a bucket list destination for gearheads. Although we're a little bummed we didn't get the long haul this year, we're definitely grateful for the time we got to spend at Power Tour, and the trip to Barber was the icing on the cake of a great road trip.